These 17 ammunition boxes have seen actual fighting on the front lines in Ukraine. And in May, they were in New York City, part of an exhibit called Icons on Ammo Boxes. Ukrainians Alexander Klimenko and Sonia Atlantova created these pieces. Klimenko started working on the project in 2014, the same year Russia annexed Crimea. I asked the guys, what do you do with those afterwards? And they said they burned them. But I saw the box lid, and it amazed me how much it looked like a classical board used for painting icons. The Church of St. Ignatius Loyola hosted the exhibit. Father Denis Yesalonia, the church pastor, says he was so stunned and amazed by the art that he wanted to purchase several pieces for the church to support Ukraine. I have a favorite of the Madonna, and this one is capturing, this one is capturing me. This was the second, saying, do I want this? Uh, but John the Baptizer is significant, uh, but I think a Madonna has the sense of uh, sorrow. Klimenko couldn't come to New York for the exhibition, but he was happy to know the sales proceeds went to help the Piragov First Volunteer Mobile Hospital, which provides medical care on the front lines of the war in Ukraine. A year ago I spent two months working at a hospital as a volunteer. I worked as a driver near Irpin in Bucha. I've seen and I know very well what it's like to save lives. The exhibition had both newly painted icons made by Klimenko and his wife, artist Sonia Atlantova, and some of their older works from private collections in U.S. museums. Curator Tatiana Borodina helped get all the icons together for the exhibition. People get tired of being compassionate. This really is a tough war, and it's tough to constantly be compassionate. But we need to awaken people, we need to show them the reality, the transformation of deadly boxes used for ammunition into such beautiful artifacts. Some of the boxes are charred, some have bullet holes, some are chipped. They are a good reminder that the violence is real. These are the works I started while at the front lines, near Bakhmut. Right here, I created a collection of works I called Saints of the Front Lines. Here's the collection dedicated to Bucha, to Irpin. We've been working on them for a year now. The goal of the exhibition was not only to introduce New Yorkers to the icons, but also to sell some of them to raise funds for the volunteer hospital in Ukraine. For Nina Vishnova in New York, NRI's VOA News.